Hi and thanks for watching. What, you, what we're going to do here today is a bit of an experiment. Um, while I wait for it to install, I'm going to explain the setup. We've got an old server here, and basically in there there's a hard drive, and then here is a an old hard drive which I don't need anymore. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up RAID one um, from this drive to this drive and uh, then install CentOS 5 on it which is actually happening at the moment then I'm going to see and monitor what happens uh, when this drive here is destroyed I'm going to use a hammer ok a little bit uh, regarding how I'm setting up the partitions uh, basically we're having uh, the slash or the root partition sitting on the hard drive which is actually in the box and then uh, I'm putting a 10 gig partition at the start of the laptop hard drive because the start of it is a bit busted and it doesn't actually uh, work quite properly and then there's a 2 gig software RAID partition on that one and also on the hard drive that's in here then we're using RAID 1 with the XT3 2 gigs um, putting it on slash RAID so following on to the, from the previous video, I've written a little script which copies data to the hard drive, then MD5 sums it, and then uh, copies it back. I've got my laptop set up here, showing the syslog and looking at the uh, cat slash prop slash MD stat every half second. by hard drive. Right, it's instantly noticed that the hard drive is now gone and there's errors in the log. Errors have actually appeared on the screen as well. I don't, actually, I don't think actually hitting it just caused it to disconnect to be honest with you. And as you can see, the MD5 some of the files is exactly the same, and it appears to have survived. 